As early as 1957, Pope Pius XII had issued an encyclical calling for a more positive engagement with mass media. In the 50s, you could see the elites of decency losing ground, and it had to make some concessions. I don't think they knew quite what to do with the streetcar named Desire, and they realized it was too important a work to give it a C rating. That only continued as the years leading up to the Second Vatican Council saw changes going on in the Catholic outlook on contemporary society and mass media and so forth. So that's what really laid the groundwork for a sense that the Legion was too cut and dried in its assessments, too negative in, in its approach, and that a more nuanced and perhaps more positive engagement with Hollywood needed to prevail. the atmosphere of change in society and in the church that was uh, abroad in the land in the early 1960s. I think more and more people were looking for change in the church's approach to movies and the movie industry. The movie Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf was being discussed. That is the big transition movie in the National Catholic Office for Ocean Pictures. It had been on Broadway. It was different in that it wasn't about sex now, it was about language. And I remember that in those discussions, for the first time we were having discussions about condemning movies not just for nudity or sexuality, but for language, vulgar language, obscene language. And maybe he didn't have it in him. Stop it, Martha. Like hell I will. You see, George didn't have much push. He wasn't particularly aggressive. In fact, he was sort of a flop. A great, big, fat, flop star! Oh, stop it, Mother. I hope that was an empty bottle, George. You can't afford to waste good liquor. Not on your salary, not on an associate professor's salary. About 10 of us, about five reviewers, and they brought in a few consultants because it was a really difficult movie to have to navigate. And, and the long discussion we had in the 42nd floor of the Chrysler building uh, whether that was going to be an A4 movie or, or condemned. The consensus group was an A4 rating on that film. Redemption of truth, I think, was basically the rationale that the group came up with. The language and the revelation that they didn't have a child, being stripped of all pretense, was ugly and difficult, but it was really redeeming. Like that now, how do you like it? <gasps> no! It was all changing, and it was inevitable that by 1968, the Production Code Administration was passe, and in 68, the ratings came in. Also, the office changed its name from the rather militant National Legion of Decency to the more neutral-sounding National Catholic Office for Motion Pictures. A more substantial change came when the Legion, which had previously only classified films, and was explicit about the fact that they did not assess the artistic merit of the film. It might have been the best film ever made, it might have been the worst movie ever committed to celluloid, they didn't care. They only cared about the moral content. Now, about 1969, by then the National Catholic Office for Motion Pictures, or NCOMP, began to review all wide release films released in the United States. And that's a mandate that has carried forward to this day. And it was felt that by not only giving a classification, but giving a sense of the film and the relation of the moral and artistic content that a fuller picture could be given to readers about what the film really represented. <laughs> <laughs>